welcome my good and faithful servant. Come on up. Higher. And I'll make you a rule over many. That's our goal is to make it to the kingdom of God and bring somebody else with you. Can I get with it? You want to feel like running more? I'm still ready to go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's what the purpose is for us to live. Every day as though it was our last day on earth. Can I get an amen out of somebody? To live every day as it was your last day. Give him your heart totally. Don't hesitate, but give it to him because he wants to bless you and strengthen you and give you what you need to make it through this tough situation we are in. So you must move on in the spirit. Move on in the Holy Spirit that you have on your inside. By the instincts that God has given you, the discerning of the spirit that God has given you, we must use the gifts. Amen. We want to praise the Lord for just being here to be able to worship him in spirit and in truth. Not to put on a show before people to look good before people that make them think we're somebody we are not. That's not the purpose. The purpose of him to give God true praise and true worship because he has sustained us in this evil day and we got more to face. This is just the beginning of sorrows. We got many more situations to face and we need to be ready at all times. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm an evangelist Pearson and this is God's word and it is true. Our good and faithful servant is already passed away into the heavens. Has said that's what he wanted to hear from the Lord. <laughs> and he got his, his prayer answered. Yes. We want to draw off the strength of God today as never before. We want to acknowledge the Lord in all of our ways. So he can give us clear cut direction. Clear cut cut advice on what we need to do as a true believer we must I say unto you continue in the race and it was stated earlier by a minister or elder Doug Buchanan but a lot of people start the race off in a full gallop they start the race off running real fast and a lot of that was they were trying to impress somebody else that they were saved. Can I get a witness? They were trying to, a lot of it was trying to impress somebody else that they were born again. But they didn't know the person that they have to get account of is our Heavenly Father, Yahshua Jesus. They had to get account of him. Can I get a witness in God's house? The name of our subject is, Be Ye Ready. Be Ye Ready. I'm not going to hold you long. By the grace of God, whatever he says, I want to do that. Go to me, with me, excuse me, over in Hebrews, 12th chapter. Simple verse. God wants this word of God, like our, like our front runner said, so plain that even fool won't err. Make it so plain to the believer that they won't stray or get confused. Amen. I had another subject, <laughs> but seemed as though it got changed at the last hour. So we must always be ready to listen, to have an ear to hear what God said unto us individually. Amen. We must listen to his voice individually because we are in a time where people are fainting. They are falling on the wayside. Uh, the government is failing. The presidents and, uh, are failing because they can't get through to the government. There's so much confusion. Amen. Prices of everything have went sky high. We must, I say, lean on the everlasting arms of our Father God. Amen. We must lean on Yahshua Jesus. Amen. He is our Lord and Savior. Amen. Praise the Lord. And verse 1 reads that following. 12th chapter of Hebrews. I'll give you a little bit of time to get you, but I rejoice today because of him. Because Jesus is the author and the finisher of my faith. Amen. 
My true profession is wrapped up, tied up, and tangled up in Jesus Christ. For we preach to you today Jesus and him and him crucified. Amen. For we do not glory in our flesh today. We do not glory in ourself, but we give God all praise. Amen. We take no glory because we will be damned if we take God's glory. Can I get a witness in God's house? You can't take his glory because all glory belongs to him who made the what? The heavens and the earth. Amen. Praise him. Amen. Wherefore, seeing we, all of us, we are compassed about. With so great a cloud of witnesses, we are compassed about, and there are angels going in and out, making reports on every time that we come together and, and report back to God that we, they are still going down there. They are still not defeated. They are still holding up the bloodstained banner. Can I get a witness in God's house? Amen. They are still holding on to the horns of the altar. Hallelujah. Amen. They are still seeking the Lord while he may be found. They are still calling on the Lord while he is near. And they let all wickedness pass by. And sometimes I say unto you, we must, I say, ignore some of the advices of Satan, devices, because he come to try to, to throw you off the course, to get you off the race. Can I get with me? To make you stray off the course. To make you second guess your Lord and Savior. Yes. What he has spoken to your heart. Yes. The direction that he has given you individually, you must hold out until the end. In order to receive a crown of life, we all must hold out until the end. We can't give in. We all must hold on. And I see you doing it by the grace of God. We are compassed about what witnesses all around us in Johnson County uh, looking at us all strange now. Say, are they going to continue on in the faith? Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Ouch. Yes. Can I hear you? Right. What they going to do now? With the man with all the knowledge, she going, what they going to do now? Are they going to cry wolf? But no, we're going to stand in the name of Jesus. What we've been taught and trained, we will stand on the word. And we will not, what, compromise with the adversary. We will not listen to his evil thoughts. We will cast him aside. We will deny him the privilege to talk to us. We will, we will reject the privileges for the Satan and the world to talk to us. We will not accept it. Right. We don't have to accept the negativism of the adversary. Can I get a witness? We don't have to listen to that negative talk out there saying, what you going to do? I'm going to tell you, I'm founded on Jesus, you know. I'm... Jesus said, on this rock, I build my church. And he said, the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Amen. We are surrounded by so many witnesses. But we must follow on with the next part of the scriptures, which says, let us lay aside every weight and sin which does so easily beset us. I put a pen in right there and stop there. Lay aside and put away all junk that might try to get in your trunk. Can I get an amen? amen. <laughs> put away all the nonsense. Yes. Grow up, be mature. It's time to be strong in the Lord. As you remember in the time of Moses, again, just look at, in the time of Moses, when Moses God had taken him on to glory. That God allowed them to grieve for a little while. But after that, God had somebody to help out. And that, his name was Joshua. So we're living in a time we must press on regardless. Amen. But remember what you've been taught. Amen. We must lay aside every weight, the things that try to stop and get in our minds, we must cast down what? Every evil imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge and the word of God. Amen. Don't go back like the dog went back to the vomit, start eating the vomit again. Yes. He backslid. Don't find yourself doing that. Or don't find yourself going back to the hog pen <laughs> And taking a bath in mud again. 
Find yourself pressing on. Find yourself getting ready to meet the king. Amen. For we all must be ready to meet the king one day. Amen. We must continue in the faith. Lay aside every weight and sin. That thing that you said, I can't help myself. You better get rid of it. That thing that's keep on hunting you, that's no good, get rid of it. We used to sing that song, this habit that I had. I just can't put it down. But I tried in my flesh, but you know your flesh won't get it. Can I get a witness? You can try all of you want to in your flesh to get rid of something. It ain't going to leave until you yield to the spirit. The scripture said, submit yourself therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. He will run from you. He will move from you and he will scatter because you stand on the truth of the word of God. You stand in the faith for every man have been dealt the measure of faith. Can I get a witness? But some faiths are different from others. Amen. Some of us have faith to just sit back and relax in a chair, but some of us do not because I, I heard another instrument of God say, now if you see a chair <laughs> that have three legs on it, she was saying something that contact, do you feel the faith now to sit down in that chair? I think it not. If you see even the chair with four legs, start, it be, it's like you it's just like it wobbling on its own. <laughs> like, you know, you seen something weak before? How many seen them old wagons back in the day, old wagons? The wheel is doing like this. Yes. Dancing all four. Boy, you kind of like have reluctancy to go and ride on a wagon like that. Amen. But we yet and still, we hard hit it a lot. A hard head will make a what? A soft behind. Because we do not listen to God's spirit. Amen? Because God loved us so much that he gave his only begotten, beloved, unique son that whosoever believe in him should not perish, but have eternal life through Jesus Christ. Let's continue to go down to the next part of the verse and let us run with patience. <laughs> How many of us have patience today? Do we have the patience that's needed to make it through this race? You have to pray for patience every day. Amen? Patience is something that we all need to pray for because things don't happen all of a sudden. They don't happen overnight. We have a, too much great of expectancy to think we're going to grow from one place to another overnight. Can I, excuse me. We think we're going to just grow to be a pastor from a bench warmer how many remember in basketball or football, you're sitting on the pine? <laughs> a bench warmer. Some people think they can sit on the bench and think they just jump to be a pastor. But how many of you have seen people fall like that? How many have you seen it over the years? But a great shepherd like we had <laughs> stood in here with just five. Just very few people stood in faith. Amen. Stood on the line. Because we know faith, I mean five, excuse me, the number system means grace. The number five means grace. The grace of God was still with this ministry. It still is now. Amen. It's still here. So we have nothing to fear, brothers and sisters. We have nothing to worry about. Don't be going around pulling your hair out. Don't be scratching your head. Don't wonder from the right or to the left, but look straight at Jesus. Can I get a witness? Look at Jesus. Don't give me that pitiful look. I want you to stand up like a soldier in the army of the Lord. Amen? I want you to continue the walk that we have walked. I want you not only to continue to walk, but not only walk to walk, but talk to talk and walk to walk. Amen? Brother, I'll tell you this. Brother Doug. Minister, God, it seemed like we always want to step ahead of God, but God had opened the door. My schedule changed. <laughs> I believe it for the glory of God. Now I'm off on Tuesdays. I was going to Wisconsin, like tonight, no more. Pray that we don't know how God can move. Now I just go to Chicago and back on Tuesday. No, not Tuesday, Monday, tomorrow. And that is 4 o'clock in the evening. So I'm going to the day shift. God moved me up to another level. So because I know 
I have to be obedient to God. I have to be. There's no question. I must stand strong regardless. Um, Sometimes you stand strong before the people, and you must stand strong. It's all right to cry, too. Ain't nothing wrong with that, people. Believe me. Crying will release you from any burdens you may have. But there's a time and a season. There was a time the other day we needed to cry. We need to. Weeping and do it for a night. But what joy comes in the what? Morning. The scripture plainly gives us instruction that it is all right. Amen? But the situation changed. So that's amazing how God moved. Monday and then off Tuesday, Wednesday, go up there and back. I'm right back home again by the grace of Jesus Christ. <laughs> but still with the Missouri trip on, I would say Friday morning because I don't leave at 12 anyway. 12 in the morning. That's straight up 12 o'clock almost. Well, maybe sometime afterwards. But anyway, God is able to make all grace bound toward us. And all things that we must what seek him while he may be found. Amen? Amen. We must be faithful even unto the end. Because we ain't seen nothing yet. What we should face. This, we have got away, people. And you know, you know yourself. And likewise, that the church, the early church suffered much persecution. Can I get an amen? The first, church, the, the, the early church suffered more persecution than we suffer right now in this era. Hear me today. We ain't, we, ain't, we, ain't, we ain't went through nothing yet. You know what I'm saying. That's true. They suffered. How many of you know they got beheaded? Amen. They got stoned to death. Right there in front of everybody. They didn't have no time to be embarrassed. They got stoned right there. And you know what? Also, got crucified upside down. Peter did. He couldn't, Peter couldn't do it at first. Now I'm going to another era. When Jesus was with him, he couldn't do nothing in the power. You know why? He wasn't filled with the Holy Ghost yet. Until Peter got filled with the Holy Ghost, that's the only time boldness came to him. That's why I say we need to be filled with the Holy Ghost. To have the boldness to stand in this evil day. Having all to stand still. Stand there for. Have your loins. Mm. Gird about with truth. Ah. Have it on. The breath plate of righteousness. If the devil try to shoot a bullet at you, it'll bounce off. Anything that try to distract you, bounce it right off of that chest. It got steel plate in there. Can I get a witness? A steel plate. Ain't it hard for a bullet to penetrate a steel plate? That have been hardened. I would say heat treated. That have been treated by heat. Amen. I remember those days. And I got too much time left. When I was in, in my little college days, you know, you thought you were going somewhere in college. <laughs> One year went, didn't nothing happen because it changed my major. Changed my subject. Changed it, whatever. Second year, tool and die. All right, that's what I want. So, you know why I didn't go forth the first time? Because I listened to somebody else. Yeah. Uh -huh. And a lot of times we make mistakes when we listen to somebody else's advice. Can I get a witness? Yeah. Yeah. And when I said, wait a minute, I'm about to stand on my own two feet now. Now, this is, and I, so I don't know who presented me with this tool and die, but it interested me. I jumped right on it. <laughs> I jumped on the bandwagon. That's why I learned about heat treating and all that. But I did not pursue that area. For some reason, I don't know from this day, but God knows, and he knows why. Amen? Coursing in God is the last thing I want to do. <laughs> Challenge God. Right. We have all answers. Amen? Right. <laughs> For some things, we will not know down here until we cross over into the kingdom. How many, can I get a hand wave by somebody? You ain't going to know everything until you cross over. If I even, if I had a know this would happen, I would have did this. No, you wouldn't. Yeah. 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 You couldn't stop it. Yeah. If I know that brother going to fall off in that ditch and kill himself, I would have came over there. Uh -huh. But you never know. It ain't going to be revealed to you. Yeah. God will give you bits and pieces of stuff. And that's what I learned over the years. A bits and pieces of things. <laughs> seemed like it'd be somebody else but it reversed over to somebody else sometimes we question too much just pray right now we don't know what we're praying for that's right. the spirit, Holy Spirit knows but we don't know that's, right. that's, right. that's why it's so great the Holy Spirit knows who we're talking to right. and what dialect we are in we don't know but 
because the Spirit speak in what? Mysteries. The gifts of the Spirit speak in mysteries. And we don't know all things. But the Holy Ghost know how to intervene and help us to be ready. Because in the natural man, we can't do nothing. We don't be ready for nothing. Natural, can I get a witness? Yo, natural, if you get scared, can I get a witness? How many of you, a natural man, get shaken up with your spirit? Just come back up there and say, wait a minute, hold up. How many of your Holy Spirit and you will stand up in you? Can I get a witness? I have had it. Stand on me. But go on. Show me his picture. And I heard the word death. And I started praying. But didn't know this other thing going to happen. The only thing I can say. But he, believe God will prepare me to help. I am a servant of God, people. I'm like, I'm nothing without Jesus. I'm going to tell you. I'm just a filter rag that have been saved through his grace. Can I get a witness out of somebody? My flesh is what? Rotten. I learned that in here. <laughs> My flesh is rotten. No good. Criticize things. Speculate things. Course and stuff. But the spirit in me is what keeps me going. I'm sure you have the same testimony, amen, that the spirit of God in you, that what keeps you being able to run this race, be ye ready for what's getting ready to take place, amen. Be ye ready to be able to take on the, the, the fight. But let's continue on. That was my testimony. We run this race with patience every day. Knowing that we must face the, the adversary on an everyday basis, we must face the world. Because the world will try to lure us back into itself again. Let me tell you, they'll try their best. But if you see now, you'll be crazy to go back to the world because there ain't nothing out there. But all oh, desolation, ain't nothing but destruction out in the land. You see earthquakes happening in what? Many places. Yes. Mudslides all over. And this is something that I want to praise God for right now. Now, I was going to Wisconsin. I'm going to say this. And I was... I think in my spirit, I do believe this, God was warning me about something, and he didn't want me to go in that area. Can I get a witness? Sometimes God warns us about something, and we must not go in that area. Again, down in there, through Eau Claire, Wisconsin, down in the area, on uh, Alaska, Wisconsin, you probably heard these places where mountains are. And I believe the revelation, I believe the spirit was saying, uh, they don't know this, but it's going to be a flood coming here, because the road that I was traveling is all around the river. I mean, the fuzz you can see out there, water all over. And uh, this came to me. The rocks are going to fall off this mountain and go run right in the highway. And that came to me. And I started saying, Lord, whatever you, know, whatever you want to do from that point. He, he moved. <laughs> now I'm off that pathway. See how God make a way of escape? Yeah. That have no temptation taking you. But search is a common man. For God is faithful who will not allow you to be tempted above that which you're able. But will, with the temptation, also make a way of escape. Woo! I'm feeling it. That you may be able to bear or handle the situation that you're facing. Everybody in here is a different situation today that you're facing. I challenge you to give it to Jesus totally as we've been taught. Let's continue on looking unto Jesus. Now we look to Jesus. How, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. Can I say it? Somebody say it with me. The finisher of my faith. Say it again. The finisher of my faith. Amen. Who for the joy that was set before us, he, him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. I'd like, like to say to you, and now with Jesus, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, suffered on the cross, suffered a great death, paid a great price to save a dying world, to save a world of sin, amen, to save an old wretch like me that was not fitting to live, not fitting to die. I was on my way to hell through the first Adam. Can I get a witness? That sin in the Garden of Eden. Can I get an amen out of somebody? But it took Jesus Christ, the second Adam, I say unto you, that came through 42 generations.
generation that came through under or through the stem of Jesse. He came through to save a little rich like me. He looked down thousands of years to save you and I from destruction of the flesh, from destruction of the spirit, that we may be able to attain salvation through Jesus Christ. Amen. That he is our Yeshua Jesus. He is our Lord and Savior. He is our Master. He is our God. Can I get an amen? Put your hands in the air and wave to Jesus like you just don't care. Give him the praise. Amen. Not me. Amen. Praise him. He is the author and the finisher. He is the one that will start it off the race for you. He ran the race all the way through. Can I get a witness? He ran the race through pain, through people spitting on him, through people slapping him, through people whipping him all night long, and he will be beyond recognition, but he hung in there. He run that race to the end, and now his body is glorified along with his spirit. Amen. He's whole now in the spirit and in the, we would call it natural now, but his body was spiritual. Oh, he left, he left that at first just to come down here of no reputation to save the world. He emptied himself out for the royalty that he had in heaven to come down here to save the dying world. Amen. Woo. And he emptied himself out. And when the dove, when Jesus down here so many, much time, and the dove came from heaven when he was baptized, this is my beloved son. And him, I'm well pleased. Can I, can I get a witness out of somebody remembering that? Amen. And we want to praise him, John, in the last few minutes. We want to praise him and put our hands and thank him for, for, for the victory today. We want to thank him for the joy that he gave in us. To then give us a mind to endure to the end as we praise him. And now, Jesus is set down. At the right hand of the Father. The right hand means power. That we might be in what? Right standings with God. That we may be inherit the kingdom of heaven. Oh, we're going to be able to handle it through the grace of Jesus Christ. We will be able to endure this hardship that's coming only through Jesus Christ. And we will be able to handle such trials and tests only through Jesus Christ. Be ye ready to go through it because you are God's little children. Hallelujah. And have overcome the world because great is he that's in you than he that's in the world. And he overcame them by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony and love not their lives unto death. According to Revelation 12, 11. So let's pray in Jesus' name. God, we thank you. Yes, Lord. Lord, help us to be ready yes, to encounter the attacks of the world, flesh, and Satan. Teach us, speak to us, to let our flesh be crucified, not to pick up any more, any more traits from the world. That you will find us faithful in the last hour. That you will find us doing work until you come. Father, help us to be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as we know, our labor is not in vain. We can endure hardship so we, it can be what? To the perfecting of the saints. If anyone in here facing such contradictions try to detour you, trying to stop you from going in the God directions. If you want to come down, that's good. We'll pray for you. By faith through his grace, God wants us to stand firm on the foundations of his word. Amen. 
If you find yourself not in these conditions, there may be pain in your body where you're sitting at. You need to lay your hands on that right now. Headaches, we curse them in the name of Jesus. Stomach aches, cramps. I don't know, but there's something about cramps in the stomach. Anybody suffer that? Lay your hands on it. Anybody suffer nauseation in their pit of their stomach? Food just do not agree with you. If you need prayer, God is here. I said God is here, not Evangelist Pearson. God is here. For without him, I can do nothing. If you want to continue to stand or you going to stand just praise him put your hands together and praise him how many of you ready to keep standing 